Thanks for coming to my podcast. 皆さんお元気ですか今日のポッドキャストに来ていただきありがとうございます。I hope everyone is having a good week. 皆さんね、いい週を迎えられているといいなと思いますけれども。It's Thursday and I've just finished work and decided to record another episode here. 今木曜日の夜なんですけれども。少し時間があるのでちょっとね今のうちにエピソードを収録しておこうと思ってしているところでございます。Um, actually, a couple of really nice things happened to me that made me really happy this week, so I just couldn't wait to tell you all about them. 実はこの1週間で2つほどねとっても嬉しい出来事があったので皆さんに早くシェアしたいなと思ってました。The first thing happened、uh, this Tuesday, and、um, when I woke up in the morning, I just、uh, checked my email. この前の火曜日ですねあの。いつものように朝起きてすぐにメールをチェックしたんですけれども。And I found this email、um, that came through my website of English Cafe. この English Cafe のホームページを通して来たメールをそこで見つけ,見つけたんですよね。And this email was from this Italian girl. And now that I got her permission, I'd like to introduce the message here. あのこの彼女、メールを送ってくれた方の了承をいただいたので、ここでご紹介したいと思います。So I'm just gonna read out her message here. Dear Rika, my, my name is Nicoletta. I'm 24 years old and I live in Milan, Italy. Well, I'm writing you because I want to thank you. I'm currently studying Japanese and every morning I take my bike, put my earphones on, and listen to your amazing podcast while I go to work. Since I discovered your podcast, this has become my sacred morning routine and it makes me so happy and relaxed. And it's also helpful for my Japanese, of course. So, hey, thank you. I just wanted you to know how I appreciate what you do. Nico. このメッセージをいただきました。ニコレッタさん、24歳で、今、イタリアのミラノに住んでるということです。で、日本語勉強中で、毎日ね、通勤するときに自転車に乗って、イヤフォンつけて、私の。このポッドキャストを聞いてくださっているということなんですよ。そしてそれが朝のねルーチンになっているということで、もうねこのメッセージいただいて私は本当に本当に本当に嬉しかったです。I was so happy to receive this message. I mean, like it was totally unexpected getting a message from my listener in Italy. It's so、amazing. まさかイタリアでねこのポッドキャストを聞いてくださっている方がいるというのがねもう本当に感激です<笑>本当に嬉しかったですニコレッタさんありがとうございましたうん I always thought that my podcast listeners were mostly Japanese people who are studying English so that was a nice surprise to receive such a message from、um, someone who studied Japanese And yeah, that was so nice. That was really nice. It's so nice of you to let me know about this, Nicoletta. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. いいですよね。なんかこう、イタリアでね、毎日通勤がてらに自転車を走らせながら私のポッドキャストを聞いているニコレッタさんを想像してね、本当なんかね、<笑>嬉しくて、本当にほっこりしました。ありがとうございました。Mm, it's so nice. I mean, like, it was so nice of her to write to me like this, and it totally made my day. Well, even a week, I've been happy every day since I got this message. Well, h o n t o n i Kono message, and then, Konshu, a Honto, e Shu d e s t a Another thing that made me happy was、um, on Instagram, I follow this one of my students I used to teach here at English Cafe when he was a high school student. あのインスタで教え子のね男の子をフォローしてるんですけれどもあ5年前に高校卒業して京都大に進学されたんですよね本当に頭のいい子だったんですが今は京都大学院生ということでねあの一生懸命頑張られているみたいです
So the student of mine who studied here when he was in high school, he was such a bright boy and he graduated the high school here and went to Kyoto University and now he is a graduate student there. あんまりこうインスタとかに投稿する男の子でもなかったんですけれどもつい最近ちょっと彼のストーリーを見てたんですよね。So I just happened to be browsing the storyline and I found his picture there and he doesn't usually post pictures so it was very rare but anyway so I was just casually looking at his post and this picture of him studying at a cafe この写真がカフェ弁の様子だったんですけれども、まあ、ノートがあってそしてアイスコーヒーが横にあってまあねなんとなくこう見ててこのノートの中にも本当難解な文字が並ぶ感じのねノートだったんですよ。でその横にちょっとあのペンケースが写ってたんですよね。そのペンケースを見た時にはあと思ったんですよ。So I was just casually looking at his pictures, and then there was this notebook with a bunch of things that I don't even understand. And right next to the notebook, there was an iced co-、uh, glass of iced coffee. And I also、um, spotted this pen case, the leather pen case, right next to the notebook. This pen case was the pen case that I gave him five years ago when he left this town. このペンケースがね、私が5年前に彼が進学で地元を離れる時にプレゼントとして渡したものだったんですよ。でこの皮がね,あの、まあ、ね5年の月日を経ってるのでいい感じにエイジングしていてもうその1枚を見た時にもうなんかすごくこうあったかい気持ちになってとっても嬉しかったんですよね。まだだ大事に使っっててくれてるんだと思って So when I spotted this pencil case that's been aging with him, I guess for five years, that's a long time. And just knowing that he uses that still, that totally made me happy. So I just texted him right away saying that, Oh, you still use my, the, the, the pen case that I gave you? And he was like, Yeah, of course, I love it. I'm just going to use it from now on as well. まだね本当気に入ってるからこれからも使いますっていうふうにお返事が来て。なんかもうすごくすごくすごく嬉しかったんですよね。うん、なんか嬉しかったですね。本当、もう今物が溢れてて、いつだってペンケースなんて買い替えられるのに。まだ大切に使ってもらってるんだと思うとね。もうちょっと泣きそうでした。<笑> I think I got some, I got kind of teary. <笑> Cause I was really happy. Yeah. I mean, like, I haven't seen him for a while now, but、uh, knowing that he's doing okay, he's studying hard, and then, yeah, that was really nice to know. So, these couple of things that happened to me this week really got me going through the week. 本当にこの2つのね嬉しいことで今週も頑張れたなっていう気持ちになりました。Yeah, I'd say that、um, these are my sweet moments, I guess. Unlike my last episode, I talked about all the painful moments. So I'm doing well.、Um, I know that some of you were concerned about my burned wrist and everything, but I'm doing much better now. So thank you. Thank you always for your support. Thank you for listening to my podcast. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad I can share my feelings here on my podcast. So yeah, I'd like to thank you, everyone. Thank everyone who listens to it. ね、もう本当になんかこういうちょっとした出来事をこうやって皆さんとシェアできるのが本当にありがたいなと思います。本当にいつも聞いていただいてありがとうございます。I think I'm just gonna hit the hay now, <laughs> go to bed now and get some quality sleep. I can sleep in just a little bit tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. 明日は少しあの遅くまで寝れるので。今からいすやすやと寝たいと思います。Thanks again for listening and thank you, Nicoletta, for the sweet message. I hope you're listening to this right now. ニコさんもね、ありがとうございました。ということで、I hope you have a good night. I know I will. Talk to you later. Bye.